Okay, I tried to record this video earlier. It just everything went wrong. Okay, but real quick, I'm gonna try to reiterate what I already said. YouTube removed my video for misinformation. Uh, I don't see. I went back and I rewatched the video. I don't see what the misinformation was. I was talking about concerns, concerns about what well, you know about. The V. I'm not even going to use the words because I don't want to get fucking removed. Anyway, I appealed, and of course they denied. They they want to stick with their guns. They need to. Oh, they want. They don't want you to hear anything else other than what they want you to hear. Once again, this is a form of control. They want to control what you hear, guys. That's not okay. That is red flags going up everywhere, and I hate I hate to sound like that fucking crazy, you know, conspiracy guy, because I'm not, but that just rubs me the wrong way. The only thing I said in that video is that people have hesitancy. They have hesitancy for, for specific reasons. I was saying it is not okay. It, it, it's not okay to have companies mandatory this shit that's not all right that's not okay people here here in america the land of the us and a uh we well we used to have this thing called religious freedom and and medical freedom uh you know uh hipaa and all this other shit we had freedom Freedom of choice. Guess what? Those things are slowly disappearing. In the thin fucking air. It's like none of... It's like none of your rights even matter. They want to step all over it. They want to take a big turd on it. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. There was no misinformation in that video whatsoever. None. The only thing I was saying was that people are scared. I've seen firsthand pharmacies lie about this shit. Okay, they say, "Hey, we got, we got the, we got the P, the P brand," because uh, that's what you're looking for, right? You don't want the M brand, the M. You know what I'm talking about? The mer, the ma, mother. Yeah, no, yeah, we don't have that. Yeah, we do. That's what we're going to give them. I've seen that firsthand, and I know that because I know somebody. Okay, it just, I know, I know. They're they're giving out what they got, cause, and, and they're telling people. They're like, it, it works the same. It, you know, and that may be, but if a, if a person asks for a specific brand of something, that's what they want by you lying to them for the greater good or whatever you think you're doing only breaks that trust a little bit farther. It, it just, where does it end? Okay, I know this thing's bad. I know it is bad, but you guys aren't helping. You, you, you aren't making it an e any easier. It, it, you, I, I'm being 100%. It, all I was saying in the in the previous video is like the the myths, the myths. YouTube, they're myths, you fucking assholes. The myths about infertility, okay? The myths about it. I was all I was saying was put yourself in the shoes of a young couple who who might be experiencing uh, some infertility issues, and and they hear all these myths. And maybe they don't feel comfortable getting it yet because they're still holding out hope at, at conceiving a, a child and becoming a family. And I'm only speaking about this because I've seen it. I know people who are like this. And, you know, I even know people who've struggled with infertility for years. Then all of a sudden, what do you know? Out of thin, out of thin air, they, they become pregnant. But guess what? Now their company is mandatory V's. Well, guess what? Now they're scared to death. They're scared to death for for them and their baby. However, however ridiculous that may be, 
they still should have the right to choose. That's all I'm saying, guys. Give me a fucking break. Fuck you guys. And if you don't like this video, YouTube, take it down. As a matter of fact, take down my whole channel because I don't want to be on a platform where I'm so goddamn censored. Fuck that.